Welcome to Pots, Pans, and Pioneers. Today I'm going to be dehydrating um, a soup medley. Um, I've ran out of soup ingredients, so I thought today um, I would go visit uh, a local organic shop here and pick up some bell peppers and some celery, um, since that's what I'm low on, and I'll chop it up and dehydrate it. So I thought I'd bring you along. Now soup medley um, here in Texas is basically onions, bell pepper, and celery. Um, you can add other hot peppers if you want, but um, I keep this dehydrated in a jar that's been air sealed um, in my pantry. So when we have soups or if I want to do a gravy or any time I want to spice up uh, a dish, even my Spanish rice, I start with a vegetable base. Um, and so I want to keep this on hand and um, I'm not using fresh onions. Um, my husband is allergic to uh, fresh cut onions. I have to dehydrate all of our onions and right now they're growing. So I'll be doing uh, onion dehydration on a different video. But I'm going to um, chop up the, the vegetables and then set them in the dehydrator. And what you'll see at the end of this video is the vacuum sealing process and storing them and then in other videos you'll see me cook with this vegetable medley. So okay, let's get started. So we have uh, yellow bell peppers, we have red bell peppers, I have orange. Uh, these are the orange, red, and yellow peppers are all pretty sweet um, tasting and then I have their standard green pepper and that's mainly just for color. You could just only use the three. So what we're going to do is, um, and I've also got some two stalks of celery, and this will make about three quarters of a quart jar of um, the soup mix that I'm trying to make. <clears throat> so I'm going to move the celery out of the way, and we'll start with the plain. I've washed these off they're organic so there's been no pesticides used on them and they've been grown in organic soil so um, I'm just going to pull the tops and this is how I do it just to make sure I get all the seed it was how I was taught from my grandmother um, and then if you don't want to be wasteful uh, we put this in compost but if you don't want to be wasteful you can you know cut around the edges you can also um, stick this in dirt um, and it will root on you, so um, just something to know. There is a ton of seeds and so I always put them aside and, and save them. So um, I think it's very important to dehydrate um, foods. <clears throat> and they're always ready. You can eat more foods in seasons that way. So um, most people who eat organic only eat what's in season, um, but I take it a step further. I'm sure most of them do too. I do a lot of canning and dehydrating so that I can, even when it's not in season, it's really in season for me because I've, I've um, been able to preserve it. So I'm just going to clean out this bell pepper. And you want to try and get all the <clears throat> the seeds out you can. The seeds are a little spicy if you've ever gotten one in your mouth. Um, and I'm going to do this um, pretty large because, <clears throat> excuse me, when you um, dehydrate food, it removes all of the water out of the food. So you're going to have an enormous amount of um, the vegetables are going to shrink. Uh, and it's going to be, you're going to think, wow, that, you know, I'm not getting hardly anything. But when you rehydrate those vegetables, you know, they're going to puff back up. Um, the dehydrator is just going to remove all of the water out of them. So I'm just going to give these a rough chop. And again, it's not fine. I don't want to put it in a, a dicer or a food processor for dehydration just because I'm not going to be able to get um, the size that I'm looking for. And I just really want a, a rough you know, a rough cut. 
when I make soups and chilies and stuff like that, I, I like to taste the vegetables. Um, I know small children don't, but I I cook that way. My kids are all grown, so I cook I cook the way that I was taught how to cook. I made modifications when they were little, but you never forget once you've been taught something. So this is a, the bell pepper, there's some big, bigger chunks here. And I'm gonna move this aside. And now the celery is interesting. Um, what you wanna do with the celery is you wanna really cut down to the bottom. It's not, you know, maybe an inch, inch and a half. Uh, you could even go two inches. And I'm going to replant this celery. I'm going to leave it a week in a saucer full of water. And uh, I'm going to replant it. Because what happens at the bottom of this is this is already beginning to root. So you're just going to set it in a bottom of a saucer. And pretty soon you're going to see sprigs uh, growing up here. And then once your sprigs are tall enough in your saucer, it takes about a week, two weeks. And um, then you can cover this in dirt and you'll always have celery. Um, so uh, one of these will grow about four celery stalks. I've had them grow up to four. So um, you can do it year round. You can grow celery on the inside too if you want to. Okay. And again, I'm gonna do a rough chop on this so it's large enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables chopped up. It's, no one wants to watch me chop vegetables. So I'll be back with everything chopped up and ready to go into the dehydrator. Okay, everyone, we're back. Um, I have boiled my water in a kettle. Um, you're going to need to, um, you're gonna need to blanch all your vegetables before that you dehydrate them. Otherwise, some of, uh, celery is notorious for not rehydrating. So if you don't uh, blanch it for one minute in boiling water, um, the chances of it rehydrating is pretty low. Um, I know bell peppers rehydrate pretty well, but I, I always just blanch them too for one minute before I put them in the dehydrator. So I've boiled, um, I have a kettle here full of water, and we're gonna pour the water over the celery, and we're gonna let it, I'm gonna set my timer here. Um, we're gonna let it set for one minute. And um, we're gonna make sure that this gets blanched really well. Because we really want this to rehydrate um, to be able to use it. I've used this in cold slaw dehydrated. I've used it in soups and chilies and stews. And you know, I can chicken soup every year. Um, to put up for the winter because that's flu season and it's wonderful and you don't ever once you have it either canned or dehydrated you're not running around trying to decide if it's in season or out of season all your vegetables are going to be mostly ready to go um, in the first part of the summer or the last part of the summer so knowing if something's in season is very very easy to find out um, I carry a chart with me when I go shopping so I kind of know Okay, this is um, done, and we're going to pour it through a strainer here. And make sure we get all the celery. And it might seem kind of, you know, wimpy <laughs> in the bowl. Um, but, you know, you, you're going to want to um, make sure and blanch it. If you skip this step, um, you, you know, you may have some problems. So, um, I'm going to pour this in another bowl full of uh, paper towels. And... Get everything out. And then I'm going to um, 
go ahead and put the other parts of my celery in the boiling water. And you're just, you know, again, you're just going to want to blanch this, you know, before you start. Same for your peppers. Always, um, carrots are even more important, you know, to blanch. Okay, I'm going to start this. I'm going to uh, go ahead and blanch the rest of my vegetables and then I'll come back when they're ready to go into the dehydrator. Okay, we're back. Um, I've parboiled uh, all of the vegetables, the celery here, um, as well as the tricolor bell peppers. And they're all drained and they've been sitting here for just a few minutes while I set up the dehydrator. Um, I have seven tray dehydrator and um, this is a Nesco professional and um, I did a review on it so you might want to check out that video um, and this is uh, one of the many times I've used it but um, this is for a soup mix or soup vegetables for soups and stocks um, again I already have onions that are dehydrated but you would also include this in your soup in your soup medley so um, I have about eight cups of celery and probably about five cups of bell pepper. So um, I'm gonna load my trays, see how many trays I'm gonna need. And then this will dehydrate for eight to 10 hours um, straight. So, um, and it'll automatically, I believe, go off. I've got mine set up on a, a timer. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna spread these um, Spread these out. You don't want a lot, a lot of them, uh, you know, gooped up together. Uh, I even put my leaves on it. Some people don't. They give, you know, put leaves to make chicken stock and vegetable stock, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna put all of them. Put this little bowl over this so I don't drop any down the thing. Now, when this finishes dehydrating, these are going to be teeny tiny. So um, I know they're not going to eventually touch, but I don't. I want to be able to see through the bottom of the tray as I'm loading it, so that I know that air is getting in. Okay, we're done with that tray. And I'm going to put this tray. You can also um, lightly spray your um, your tray liners with canola oil. I use organic canola oil. Um, you can lightly spray them so that you know you're less time cleaning them up. That's just a little tip. Just don't you know heavy spray them because you don't want you know oils. That's it's taking out all the moisture, so we want to make sure you know, that we're getting that. Okay. Tray two, again, this is eight cups uh, of celery. I'm gonna have to put a parchment liner in here. So, I'm just gonna make a liner out of some freezer paper. purposes of what I'm using it for. Let's see. Not sure. Just cover up the whole 
so you don't put anything down on the inside of it. And some of the celery has browned, but um, it's not because it's there's anything wrong with it. It's just that boiling water. Okay, we've got all of the uh, dehydrated vegetables in the jar, and I'm going to vacuum seal it. Um, got my vacuum sealer here. Put this on and hit it. I think it needs to be... That might have helped. I should have took off the tube. Okay. It's all vacuum sealed and ready to go and use in my pantry. Um, you don't need to put the lids on them. I just do. I store them that way um, just because I hate to lift this up one day and it come loose. Um, hopefully it won't because it's vacuum sealed. So all ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll join us next time for another dehydration canning or new recipe. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.